Guys, this is one of those time to confess videos. I have been lying to myself about something and by default lying to you guys. So we got to correct this because I have noticed that I'm starting to admit that I love top flippers. There are just some really, really good ones out there. And this one really brought it to light. So let's turn this around and take a look at some really, really good top flippers. So like I said, guys, it, it has become glaringly apparent that I've lied to myself about my taste in knives. So we are going to correct that because we're gonna look at five knives that are top flipper deployment that I absolutely love. And we're gonna start with this one, the newest one that really brought it to light. It's the Yan Knives EMW. The, the deployment on this is just so much fun. Top, you know, it is front flipper only, top flipper only. But this is one of the few knives that I'm able to actually do this with my index finger the proper way. And it is just a great, great deployment on what is a knife that has definitely endeared itself to me. So a lot of people think it's kind of over the top. You've got the two blades and they just don't understand. It's this battering thing that they see that just makes them think that it's over the top. What you've got is a beautifully done knife with two different blades that are very similar, but definitely different. You've got this Tonto that is done with a nice straight and then a nice curved point that is a flat and a hollow. This cuts really, really well. The whole handle of the knife is curved. The whole knife itself actually is curved from tip to tail on both blades because on top of the Tonto, you have a Bushido or trailing point blade that's on this. I got this directly from the guys at Crane's Cutlery and they asked me what one I loved, I wanted. I wanted the micarta because the micarta on this is so, so good. Uh, the cool thing about this knife is you've got a nice thick handle. It's nice and broad. And so you've got really good purchase. The action on it is ridiculously smooth. And both of these blades cut so, so well. I actually had, had to resharpen this because I knocked the tip off of it. They cut so, so well. But the additional thickness of having that extra blade in there makes this feel really good in hand. And it adds something. You saw me do it right there that a lot of people don't think about. I can get way up on this like this and just power cut down without a choil. So that means I can get way up on it, put my thumb across that area and just power cut through stuff. And it feels really good in hand. The only issue that you may have is just the sharpening on that. But I do, I have really gotten to where I love this whole curved feel of this. And like I said, just a beautifully done knife that a lot of people think is a gimmick, and it truly, truly isn't. It is a great, great all-around knife that I've come to really enjoy having. I Like I said, I especially love the fact that I can get way up on that and just power down through stuff. So there you go. There's your first one, the EMW by Yan. Or, well, it's the Yan EMW by Riat. My bad, forgot to mention, for those of you who are like, well, it doesn't have a pocket clip, comes with a great, great pocket slip and clip. So may want to check this out. There'll be links to these knives down below. So I have to admit, this is the knife that made me really start to question my dislike of top flippers. And it is the Artisan Serious. It's a Ray Laconico design. And Ray's knives have always had some of the best top flippers. If you're going to get a top flipper and you want it to be good, you're going to want to look at a Laconico design. This is one of my favorite knives that Artisan has put out. You're looking at a beautiful, beautiful knife. With a nice, nice slender profile. The micarta on these is beautiful. These do come in several different versions. But you've got the multiple deployments. You've got thumb stud and top flipper. And this is another knife that I absolutely can with my index finger, finger do the flip. Some of the other knives I can't, um, but this one's great. This is one of the best overall profiles on a knife. It's just enough curved. You can't really, it's almost imperceptible. It's slightly curved, which gives you a very good feel in hand, nice address to the cut. The spine of the knife is really straight, except for that slight tapering that you see here. That just makes it feel great. The micarta on these are amazing. This gets so much pocket time. I have to clean this before I do videos. Um, and the action on this is great. You've got a beautiful pocket clip on this that goes down into this nice grooved area, which isn't just there for show. It gives you a tactile feel. It almost, it, it, I don't know why it feels so good to have that little groove in there, but it absolutely does. And then a beautiful backspacer with a spot for a lanyard. 
the fact that this is done in a liner lock and they really did a good job with this because they hid the liner. So the only place you really see the liner is at the lock, which is, it's just great. Um, and then just the proper amount of jimping on that top flipper to make it good. The thing that you'll notice about Ray's top flippers is the top flipper stands up tall and then this is cut back to a point where even if you want to slow roll it you can because you don't get an obstruction at all in the travel so great great design ray is a great dude i love this knife so let's go ahead and move on to the next knife which is another relatively new addition to the channel this is the katsu knife ck01 this is the one i said was the rockstead killer this is another knife that gets a lot of pocket time and it's another knife that does not have a pocket clip which means incredibly comfortable uh this does come with a sheath i've done it in other videos where you can see it i'll put a link to the other videos i've done or one of the other videos i've done on this where you can see like the full review um but it comes with a really good sheath the nice thing about this is this is a relative this is a 89 dollars knife that looks like it should cost four or five hundred dollars beautifully done carbon fiber on this completely convexed or blade that comes down now i did resharpen this completely convex down which means it cuts incredibly well some of the best 154 cm heat treat i've had on a knife it's done in a liner lock with like i said beautiful beautiful carbon fiber scales which means this is a relatively light knife the top flipper on it is great you can actually flip off of it i have a sore thumb so if you guys are wondering why it looks like but you can absolutely slow roll that having a hard time with these top flippers today because of the thumb. The jimping on that is just about perfect. And then it comes back into some jimping back here, which means that you've got really good purchase on this. Even though this carbon fiber is done relatively polished and you get that opalescence that you see there, it's not at all slick. And then the blade on this is just the showpiece. It is beautifully, beautifully done and it cuts so so well this knife spends a lot of time in my watch pocket or in its sheath done uh, scout carry on my waist so this thing absolutely recommend this knife 100 percent. if you're looking for a gift for the holidays this would be the one i would throw out there so katsu has been awesome to deal with they are just doing some amazing stuff so let's move on to the next knife after you guys hear from this video's sponsor shout out to dollstrongs for sponsoring this video i've been using this uh eight inch gladiator series chef's knife for well over a year now and i gotta say I love it. You're getting a lot for your money when you go with Dahlstrong. There's a link down below. You can check them out. They have a huge variety. You can see some of it scrolling up here on the screen. They have a huge variety of knives, different price points, different materials, things that are going to meet your decor if that's what you're into. So don't forget to check them out. They've been really cool to sponsor this video. They've been a good partner for the channel for a while. Check them out now. Let's turn this around and get back to the video. So this is the AM8 Gladiator, and this is a beast of a knife. Really, really good thumb studs you can reverse flick off of and everything like that. But this is another knife with a really good top flipper. Now, I can't quite do, oh, I guess I can, the uh, finger the way I want because it's a bigger knife and it's got kind of out of sorts. But as far as doing it with your thumb, wow, that just really snaps open. This knife reminds me a lot of the triple aught design stuff that you would see really straight handles with these lines in it, but they are comfortable. This is a very, very comfortable knife. Super, super straight. Now they call this a gladiator. It does look like something out of a gladiator movie. It looks like a sword, but like I said, super straight from, t uh, from tip to tail out of character i like a little bit of curvature but this thing cuts so so well i'm gonna hate seeing this go this has to go back to jared um it's on its way back to him soon uh just really really good lines on this and the action on this is just ridiculously good i love how this cuts uh s90v blade that has just about got the goldilocks zone grind on this so the transition down and then the actual edge that's on it beautifully beautifully done i cut a lot with this and did not even have to think about resharpening it they got their heat treat on this down um i had an issue with one of their knives look at that just drop shut beautiful titanium anodized thumb studs on this uh they're gonna change color as you wear you can see how it's going from blue to purple just overall gorgeous gorgeous the knife and it's a nice package in pocket. It doesn't sit badly in the pocket. It's not too heavy. They've done a lot of weight reduction on this. So you've got a really good balance on this knife just right at the pivot. So 
lots of stuff going for this knife. Don't miss out on this. This, this is one that I absolutely recommend. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is the last knife of the batch. And this is my current knife of the year. This is another Ray Laconico design. This is the Echo. And this has got probably one of the best times. <laughs> it's so, so smooth. It works so well on this knife because it is a button lock, which means there's so much less resistance in the detent, but it's still snap happy. You've got a reverse flick option and the fact it's a button lock, which means you can actually deploy it with the button itself like that. In hand, absolutely one of the most comfortable knives on the market. Ray really nailed how to radius this handle over and just get it so that the fat, the flat slabs don't feel flat. It just feels contoured in your hand. The way this cuts is just amazing. This is the one that I've reserved for filming videos. I have another one that I carry that's my personal one that I cut with all the time. It's just wrecked. Uh, it's the thumb stud version of this, that which was a prototype. Um, just one of the best all around knives you're gonna get the blade on this is a very nicely done blade. It's completely radius, but you've got enough of a slight radius that it just feels like you're cutting with a with a warning, like a, a perfectly straight edge, but you've still got enough belly to sweep around things. ARRPM9 is a great steel. You're never gonna go wrong with it. It's easy to maintain, it's easy to sharpen, it's very rust resistant, and it takes a scream and scream an edge. Like I said, this is not one that gets used, but it is beautifully done button locks on these some of the best budget button locks you're going to find on the market and the fact it is a button lock means that it's a hundred percent ambidextrous <laughs> if you're if you're not a dummy like me you can absolutely open this and close it left-handed or right-handed just one of the best knife designs out there you can't go wrong with this one i love the fact that they're doing it in a liner lock as well in case you don't like a button lock so there you go, guys. That was all five. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed the fact that I was so wrong. I like being wrong about things sometimes. So let's turn us around, do some final thoughts, send you out about your day. Yeah, I I hate to admit it, guys. There, there you go. I, I've pointed it out. Every one of those is just an incredible, incredible top flipper. I love all of them. And, and like I said, this one really, really pointed out to me. Once I got one where I could do the, like I couldn't do the index finger flip really on a lot of them. Once I got one that I was like, man, now I get it. Now I get it. And I will stop diminishing everyone that likes top flippers from now on. And I don't like them all. Let's just make sure that that's clear. I don't like them all, but I mean, there's a lot of them that I do. <laughs> So guys, that's it on this one. Hopefully you had a little bit of fun with this. I definitely did. Um, I love, I love when I change my opinions on things to a point where I'm like, you know what? I was wrong about this for a long time. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, but tell me why I don't, you know, don't just leave me hanging. I got, I can't change content if you don't tell me what you don't like. I've got a lot of ways you can support the channel. Doll Strong Knives is today's a sponsor, but I also have coffee, powder, coffee brand, coffee, tempered trail, um, Doll Strong. I've got a bunch of affiliate links down below. Uh, you can use coupon code crazy sharp at coffee brand, coffee at tempered trail at Rosecraft blades and at fair and forge knife works. Com, and that's crazy sharp, all one word. And that saves you 10% at checkout. I said all the vendors down below that I've got, like uh, Blade HQ, Knife Ship Free, GP Knives, anything you purchase, because you know you're going to buy knives. If you use my links, supports the channel. But you can also join my membership. I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways for the holidays. Uh, hopefully I get these videos up and edited before the holidays. But if you are not a paying member, you might want to take a look at it because the baseline and premium guys, I give away knives and I'm going to give away like six knives, hopefully before December 15th. So I can get them out for, for them as a Christmas gift. Um, but there's a lot of different benefits, the private discord, exclusive content, the sharpening tutorial series for the premium guys. I have built a public discord that you can join as well. It's the easiest way to get a hold of me because I really have to admit, I don't spend much time in the comments section. So guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. It, if it is your birthday, Happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.